Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at, um, it's actually a quadratic formula, it's one of those questions where it's a bit of a combined question. So the first thing we have to do is we have to show that the volume of this particular uh, box equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 51 when they tell us the volume is 51 centimetres cubed. So that's the first thing we have to do. The second thing we have to do is work out the value of x and that's going to involve using the quadratic formula. Okay, so let's deal with the first question first. Well, as you know, the volume of anything is equal to area times the depth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the area of this first little bit, which is going to be 2x, or 2 times x, and then I'm going to multiply that 2x, I'm just going to put it in brackets like that, by the depth, which is x minus 2. And all of that, when we multiply it out, is going to be equal to 51. And then it's just really a case of manipulating this in order to make it look like that. So the first thing is, I'll leave that 51 there, but 2x times x is going to be 2x squared, and then 2x times minus 2. Don't forget, I'm multiplying each of these terms individually, so 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. If I bring that 51 over to this side, it means it's going to be minus 51, so 0 equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 51 and that's the answer to that particular question. Hope that's been okay for you. Okay, the next bit is we need to work out the value of x and we're going to use the quadratic formula in order to do this. Really sorry, but you're going to have to remember that x equals minus b plus or minus the root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, it used to be on the exam paper as a formula, no longer, I'm afraid you just got to remember that. Okay, so what we've got here is values of a, b and c, and we can say that a is 2, b is minus 4, and c is minus 51. Now be careful about these because these minuses might cause you a little bit of a problem. Okay, so the first thing is I'm going to plug this in minus b, well it's already minus, and minus and minus is a positive, so actually b is going to be 4, this first value here will be 4, and then it's plus or minus the root of minus 4 squared, and as you remember minus 4 times minus 4 is 16, so that's going to be 16, and then I've got minus 4 times a which is 2, and c which is minus 51. Now, fortunately, on this particular question, there's a whole lot of minuses floating around that you need to deal with. Okay, so uh, if we just deal with this area underneath the, um, the square root first, I'm going to get 4 plus or minus the root. Now, minus 4 squared, as we said, is 16. And then I've got minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And then I've got minus 8 times minus 51, which is going to be 408. And it's a plus because we've got a minus times a minus becomes a plus. So actually underneath this area here, I then got a positive number which will allow me to get the square root of it. Okay, and when I do get the square root and I work that out on my calculator, I'm going to get two values of x. One where x is a positive value, and I just have to check my notes of 6.15, and one where x is a negative value, which we actually don't need to worry about because this is going to be positive. Okay, we can't have a negative value of x, so actually in this particular question, x is going to be a value of 6.15. I hope that's okay for you. If you're not sure about how to use this quadratic formula, please do have a look at the playlist and I'll attach that to this particular video and that'll give you some more examples to have a look through. I um, hope that's been okay. Please do add a comment below. Always come back to you. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video.